Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. I actually about finished Sector 11 in the last episode, so this time I'm going to tackle Sector 11 Task 7 and hopefully manage to finish the whole sector. Let's see. We get in an array of string arrays as input and we're supposed to return another array of string arrays. What I see from the test cases in the, is that in these all these cases I'm returning exactly the array I got as input which is interestingly easy. Let's see where the difference comes from here. So there's three A's here in the expected output there's an A A A A. There's three A's here and in the expected output there's also a double A here and there's three double A's here and in the expected outputs two of them were shifted uh, were exchanged actually with a with a la uh, single A. So if I interpret this as a matrix and say this is the first row, second row, third row then actually there were only A's in the first two rows only double A's in the uh, third row and here now the first element of the third row got placed to the third element of the first row and the second element of the third row got switched with the second element of the second row so this kind of makes sense I guess so let's go about this we're supposed to generate uh, or can we do this in place? I guess we can do this in place. int i equals 0, i is smaller than input dot length um, divided by 2 because if I go over the full, if I switch them around and I go over the full uh, matrix I will switch them back um, so I only go over half of the matrix till I've changed everything I want to change and of course I'm going to walk not only over the rows but also over the um, columns. I'm just going to expect that this is a quadratic thing we're, going, we're talking about here so I can do this. Of course again I'm only walking over half of it and then I guess I catch all the elements I want to have. And my input i j is going to be saved in a temp variable because I need to switch them around. Then I can set input i j to input um, j i. Too many braces here. J i and then I'm going to set input j i to temp and with a little bit of luck this is it already let's find out yes okay these are the trivial cases but at least I did not generate any index out of bounds or problems like that okay this case is also trivial this case is not so trivial and actually I did not manage to get it right. Why didn't I manage to get it right? Ah, of course. My logic for walking over the whole thing is not... Uh, or walking only over half of it is wrong, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's wrong. I have to walk over half of the rows, that's right, but I have to walk over the columns um, of the first column, I have to walk completely, the second I have to skip the first element. Have to Do I have to skip the first element of the second? Uh, let me think about this. I walk over the first row where check all of them. So I already toggled the first 
Oh, the diagonal stays in place, doesn't it? I toggle the second element here with the first element here. So I don't need to toggle the first element here again. So I'm actually going to start with I here, I think, and walk to the full length. That might be the thing to do, because in the second thing I want to start with a second element which I could actually skip, and then do the third in a third row. I wanted to, I want to skip the first two elements. First two, and then only. I'm not sure if this is going to be working. I'm still a little confused. I know that I don't want to walk over the whole thing because otherwise I'm going to switch these elements back to the places they were at. But I'm currently not sure if I'm supposed to walk over everything or just some of it. Be supposed to be here, but apparently it stays in place because it did not. It's it's three. Three divided by two is one. Three divided by two is one. So I'm walking over the first and the second row, which actually makes sense. It's the first here, and the second. And when I reach this, which is actually row one. Column two, it should be processed. One, two, switched with two, one. One, two, two, one. Which, why doesn't this work? I was so sure that this is going to work, but actually, apparently, I messed something up. Okay. So maybe I walk over all of it, but just skip these. That should, shouldn't this do the trick? Because I just skipped the respective columns that are already changed. So maybe I just chose the wrong approach. Uh, in, in only walking over half of the matrix, which actually makes sense. So I walk over the all columns of the first row. I walk over all minus the first column of the second row, and I walk over all minus two, or starting from the from the third in the third row. So I'm only um, switching around the upper right half of the matrix against the lower left half of the matrix which is exactly splitting it into two so I'm maybe right this time and yes I actually got it right and with this task I managed to complete sector 11 the race 2 and in the next episode I'm going to start with uh, sector 12 search sort this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.